Isn't it sad to have a PowerPoint that hasn't been shown to a bunch of students? And that is so sad, right? There's this little PowerPoint sitting there. All it wants to do is be seen by students, and this one didn't get seen, you know? And so, and, and it has to do with, um, it has to do with uh, physics and pulleys, and it's really just a lesson that I didn't teach. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to go through it here for you real fast. You don't need to take notes. And it goes a little bit like this. And we'll see if I've got enough voice to sing it for you. Because sometimes isn't it good to sing a lecture rather than just say it? Yeah, yeah I think so, right? OK, so it goes something like this. Dear sir, I write, I got to pick a low enough note because my voice has gone low today. OK, dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of me plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Me body is all black and blue, me face a deathly gray. And I write this note to say why Patty's not at work today. Well, working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. To throw them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he being an awkward sod. And so said I had to cart them down, the ladders in me hod. Now clearing all those bricks by hand, it was so very slow. I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks is much heavier than me. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket till, to my dismay, I found that halfway up, here come that bloody barrel going down. <laughs> the barrel broke my shoulder as toward the ground it sped, and when I reached the top, I hit the pulley with my head. I clung on tight, though numbed with shock from this almighty blow, and watched the barrel spill out most of its bricks some 14 floors below. Now, when those bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, <laughs> I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. <laughs> and clinging tightly to the rope, my body racked with pain, when halfway down, here come that bloody barrel once again. The force of that collision halfway down the office block caused multiple contusions and a nasty state of shock. Still clinging tightly to the rope, I sped toward the ground, landing on those broken bricks all scattered there around. I lay there groaning on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst. When the barrel hit the pulley wheel, that's when the bottom burst. A shower of bricks fell down on me, t'was then I gave up hope. And lying there upon the ground, I let go the bloody rope. The barrel was then heavier, it started down once more, landing right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs in my left arm, and I can only say that I Hope you'll understand why Patty's not at work today. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, really, really. Thanks.